for a standard hyperbola we know that transverse axis it is your x axis and its equation is y equals 0 and for conjugate axis it is y axis whose equation is x equals 0 and if we take a hyperbola its equation is given by x square upon a square minus y square upon b square equals 1. Now here if we look at any point on this hyperbola this x is basically distance from conjugate axis and y is distance from transverse axis. Now we say this distance from conjugate axis is Pn and distance from transverse axis is Pn. Then we can write this equation as Pn square upon A square minus Pm square upon B square equals 1. Now using this what you want to do is we want to find equation of hyperbolas for which Transverse and conjugate axes are perpendicular, but they are not x-axis and y-axis. They are some perpendicular lines. Now, say for example, we have two perpendicular lines. And suppose the equations are Lx plus My plus N equals 0. And this one will be Mx minus Ly plus N dash equals 0. And now the point of intersection itself, it won't be at origin, it will be at some point say h comma k. Now for these transverse and conjugate axes, if we draw asymptotes and then we draw hyperbola and what we'll do is, we'll take up a point say p. Now, if we take this perpendicular distance, this is distance from conjugate axis. So this is Pn and this is Pm distance from transverse axis. So that's our transverse axis and this is our conjugate axis. And let us also suppose length of transverse axis, it is 2a and length of conjugate axis, it is to be it is given in the question. So now what we can do is we can write this equation as pn square upon a square minus pm square upon b square equals 1. Now this pn is perpendicular distance of this line from the point p and suppose this coordinate is x comma y. So this pn it will be mx minus ly plus n dash upon under root of m square plus l square whole square upon a square and minus pm square and pm is perpendicular distance of this point from transverse axis and that will be lx plus m by plus n upon under root of l square plus m square whole square upon b square and it is equal to 1 and this is the required equation of the hyperbola. We need to find equation of hyperbola through this form pn square upon a square minus pm square upon b square equals 1 where pn is distance from conjugate axis and pm is distance from transverse axis. Let us take up an example. Here the question is the equations of the transverse and conjugate axis of a hyperbola are respectively x plus 2y minus 3 equals 0 and 2x minus y plus 4 equals 0. So this is your transverse axis and this is your conjugate axis and their respective lengths are root 2 and 2 upon root 3. That means 2a equals root 2. So basically a is 1 by root 2 and 2b is 2 upon root 3. So value of b is 1 by root 3. Now as we can see, 
slope of this line is minus 1 by 2 and slope of this other line is 2. So basically m1 into m2 is minus 1. So these two axes they are perpendicular and we need to find hyperbola for these axes. Now we know that equation of hyperbola is given by pn square upon a square minus pm square upon b square and it is equal to 1. Now pn is distance from conjugate axis and pm is distance from transverse axis. So distance from conjugate axis will be 2x minus y plus 4 upon now this is under root of 2 square plus 1 square whole square upon a square and a square is 1 by 2 minus and pm square is distance from transverse axis and it will be x plus 2y minus 3 upon under root of 1 square plus 2 square whole square divided by b square and there will be 1 by 3 and it is equal to 1. Now we simplify this. This 2 will go in the numerator and here this value is 5 so it will be this 2 by 5 2x minus y plus 4 whole square minus and here this is 3 and this is 5 so it will be minus 3 by 5 x plus 2y minus 3 whole square equals 1 and that's your option A. Now let us take another example and here we need to find eccentricity of this conic which is given by 4 2y minus x minus 3 whole square minus 9 2x plus y minus 1 whole square and it is equal to 80. Now if we look at these two lines 2y minus x minus 3 equals 0 and 2x plus y minus 1 equals 0 here the slope is 1 by 2 and here this slope is minus 1. So basically they are perpendicular lines. So essentially it is a hyperbola and we have to write it in the form pn square upon a square minus pm square upon b square equals to 1 in order to find the value of a and b and from a and b we can find the value of e. So now pn is perpendicular distance of this line from xy. So basically pn it will be 2y minus x minus 3 upon and this is under root of 4 plus 1 root 5 and the same way pm will be 2x plus y minus 1 upon root 5. So what we will do is we will multiply and divide everything in 5. So here it will be 4 into 5 and here will be 2y minus x minus 3 upon root 5 whole square minus 9 into 5 and this is 2x plus y minus 1 upon root 5 whole square and this is equal to 80. Now this is pn so we can write this as pn square upon and here it will be 80 by 20 minus pm square upon 80 divided by and 5 into 9 is 45 and this is equal to 1. So this is the equation of our hyperbola. Now in this case this is your a square and that's your b square. So here a square is 80 by 20 which is 4 and b square is 80 divided by 45 so it will be 16 by 9. Now we know that for a hyperbola b square is a square into e square minus 1. Now b square is 16 by 9 a square is 4 and this is e square minus 1. Now this is 4 by 9 we can write e square as 1 plus 4 by 9 which is 13 by 9. So value of e is simply under root 13 by 3 and that's your option b. So there could be questions in hyperbola where you will have your x's which are perpendicular but they are not 
parallel to x axis or y axis and this is how we solve such questions